Hello everybody, and I just downloaded The Walking Dead, so I'm gonna play some Walking Dead today. I'll probably start a series if you guys like it. Uh, let's just do that. A new day. I heard that this game is really good, and they're making uh, like a second season out of it. Hopefully, that's true. The series, game series adapts to the trial. Okay, fuck you too. I know that you murdered someone, that's about it. Here, let me turn that down. The graphics are... Uh, they could be better on some objects. The humans look good, but... Everything else looks like crap. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Uh... Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. Yeah, I don't use the arrow keys. Oh, I didn't do that. Fuck. It's not every day a fella from Bibb County goes off and kills a state senator. That's for sure. I got a nephew up at That's UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six years. Sooner or later, there's gonna be freaking jets. You meet your wife in Athens? Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Then before long he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's gotta stop. But that's government property and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Damn. Man? 
Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for you. Whoa. This one's a little bit What's less that? depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Bob there always screams, my leg! <laughs> I love that dude. My leg! <laughs> hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Well, officer? I don't really like that. Is there a way? No, 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 no. Game. Yeah, that's all I want. Okay. Resume game. That doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Oh, look, a window. Uh. 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 And there it is. I need to drag myself out that window. Yeah, how are you gonna I need do to that? drag myself out that window. Oh, you have to move towards the window. The shotgun is up there. Looks empty. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Okay, 
Shotgun. Looks empty. Yeah, you already said that. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Double cuffs off. Officer? Officer? Need a little help. You do need help. 
I'll just open the door if you don't mind. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Treehouse. I've always wanted a treehouse. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. TV series, The Floater. What's that beeping? Whoa. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. to the other. Oh, wow. Walkie talkie. Hello? You need to be quiet. Wait, what happened to that babysitter? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. No, no, no. They said something about a babysitter. Where the hell's the babysitter? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Yeah, Where the Sandra? boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. So you're see? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Sucking some electricity up there and you can live forever. Oh yeah, and you need
It's gonna come back. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. <laughs> I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets dark. Yeah. We need to because find help it before dark, it gets dark. All the zombies will come out. Yeah. It's but not safe at night. Daytime. There was probably people scavenging. Let's go. Stay close to me. Where we're gonna go. Straight, so I have to go die uh, uh, oh, man. Oh, man! I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? What has that bitch been eating? They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I won't leave you alone, okay? Oh god, that was a mean. Hey man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Well, for a second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not her dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... Yeah, let's go to their house. The and monster's coming. Gone. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. Uh, 
Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. You can't catch him, he's fat. Can't catch fat people. Oh, we'll just break your Thank fall. God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, Chet I'm glad you Chet. took him with you then. I was the one who pushed the car. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Yeah. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Holy Green. Shit. It's Herschel. How'd this happen? Holy shit. Oh my god, it's Herschel. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Yeah. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. He thinks I'm All so right then. I'd be raped in my Clementines. It smells like... Shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. My mom and dad. Shit. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Okay. So, what's gonna happen now? I love you, baby. <laughs> Oh, 
the cup. Oh wait, no, that's not appropriate right now. Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not There's a dad. Big sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Oh my gosh, tractor. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if oh, he has to. I'm black. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. <laughs> Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. What do I do now? Oh, oh, no, I don't want to go that. Okay. So it looks like left is straight. Oh, no, my fingers were on the wrong keys, of course. Oh, hello. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching that mackerel, clear, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Always wants to get on a boat or not a cruise ship. Those things are scary lately. See you. But like, everybody wants to get on a boat and get the hell out away from the apocalypse. What if zombies can swim? What if there's floaters? What if they can grab onto your boat like in Riptide that that I own Riptide? Not really. Sean's still working on that fence. No. Sean's still working on that no, fence. Shit. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. You gotta do what you can to survive. Like put a gun to that kid's head and pulled the trigger? Fuck that, man. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Sometimes, let's kill. Be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. 
How about yours? How's your family? Well, whoever they are, wherever they are, I hope they're okay. Thanks. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. He doesn't believe you. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. But you, you better are. become a better liar or and fast. But I'm gonna Let's say you. things don't get better back in the you. cities. Or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! Sorry! 
And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! He's pissed. Got that ride to make it if you want it. So, what happens now? Oh, I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, liquor store. Go, 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 go to the liquor store. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! Ah! No! 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 Run! Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We're not dangerous. We're just regular folks. What's dangerous is a bunch of people running outside and drawing their attention to us. Lee's right. We're just regular folks, but we actually like helping people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. All right, now. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're oh, in a war knows. zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. Oh, that's what it takes. Knows. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Okay. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? You and what homo parade? This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy. 
before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> come <in> time! <coughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. I like the oh, you know, guys. It looks like that dude is gonna like a nice to everyone. Everybody down! Stay quiet! Wow. They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. Go There's a motel gas. not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Okay, there, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, so I guess this is going to be the end of the first episode. So comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to see me do another one, just comment down below and that you want to see another one.